Okay, welcome guys to the fourth physics tutorial. And today, as the title above suggests, we are going to be talking about the easiest um, vector topic by far, in my opinion. The vector multiplication. And this is the easiest by far, in my opinion. It's so easy that I can just teach it in like one second, but I'm just going to go in depth just so you guys get a better feel of what it actually is. So, let's say we are given a vector A um, of magnitude 1, and we're going to have it pointing north, straightly north. So, we're gonna be, let's say it looks a bit like this. So, this is vector A. Now, vector multiplication is when you multiply a scalar. Remember what a scalar is? Something that without something, a number, a quantity that has no direction. So basically, we are multiplying a scalar by a vector. So let's give an example of a scalar. Let's say 3 and a vector. Well, we already have one, a. So let's say, so 3 times a. So what is 3 times a or 3a? What is this? Now, I'm going to give you two steps that, you, that you'll need to follow, and it's going to be so easy. First step, let me just write it down. First step you're going to do is um, find or determine, I guess, find the sign of, um, I guess, vec the new vector. So, the new vector. So, basically this. Find the sign meaning, is it negative or is it positive? If it's negative, if negative, then um, direction is opposite. So basically, if if, if it was negative three a, the direction of the vector would be in this in the opposite direction. And if it's positive, then same direction. Simple as that. Step two. Step two. <coughs> Um, find the magnitude and that's basically all you need to do and find magnitude and I'll show you how to find it later on so let's keep these two steps in mind and let's try to solve this one so let's um, bring these down here so I'm just gonna rewrite it rewrite it a equals to 1 north and then the arrow was like that so and we're asked to find what 3a was. So let's refer back to our steps. Step number one, find the sign. And the sign in this case is positive 3. So we know that the vector of 3a is pointing in the north direction. So pointing north. Second step, find the magnitude. So what is the magnitude of 3a? Well, basically what you're trying to do is find the length. Magnitude means length. So basically, we're trying to find the length of the vector. So how do you find this? Well, uh, magnitudes can only, one note, one quick note, uh, magnitudes can only be positive. So we're going to use this sign. Or some people write, um, or write, some people write this as like that, just without the double bars. Well, this is, both are correct, but the, this is the, the more correct way because one bar just means absolute value, whereas two bars means magnitude, and magnitude means vectors. So use single bars when it's a when it's a scalar, and use double bars when it's a um, vector. So both both ways are fine, I guess. So how do we find the magnitude of three a? Well, basically what we do is three, the scalar, multiplied by the magnitude of whatever the inside is. So the the magnitude of a is one. So it's 3 times 1, and we get magnitude of 3. And since, and remember these bars means means absolute value, which means positive. So these bars mean absolute value, which means positive or plus. So remember that. So since our number in this in the bars, in the jail cell <laughs> uh, is already positive we can just write it out as 3 so we know so what do we have so far we know the magnitude and we know the direction from step 1 
So we know since it's positive, it's pointing in the same direction as A. So it's in this direction and magnitude of 3. So it would be 3 times of that. 3 times, roughly about 3 times. So this is 3A. So we know that the length of this is 3 and the length of this is 1. That's basically all of this. Now let's try another one. Oops. What if we were asked to find what um, this vector? Given the same vector, vector a equals 1 north, what is negative 2a? Find this. So again, first step, find a sign. And in this case, the sign is negative. So we know that the vector is pointing somewhere along like that in the down direction, since vector a is pointing in the up direction. So that's step one done. Step two, find the sign. I mean, find the magnitude of the of the vector. So the length of two a. So again, same thing. Magnitude of two a equals to the um, the scalar. So negative two multiplied by the magnitude of the vector inside. So it's one. So it's negative two times one, which is equal to just negative two. And since remember the absolute value. The bars means absolute value, which means it's positive. So we take it when we take out these bars, negative two becomes two because it means positive. Because the bars means that it, we are converting it to positive. So we know that the length is we know that the length is two, and the direction is the opposite of a. So it's south. So we can conclude that negative two a equals to south, whatever wh whatever units we have, because I'm not going to care about units right now. So the arrow, if this was vector a, the arrow of negative 2a would look something like that in the opposite direction of a, and twice the length of a. And that's basically it. And you guys actually did it before, when we did um, vector subtraction, because when we were given like a minus b, and we converted to a plus negative b, what we did was, remember what we said, we just take the vector b, if this was vector b, and the vector negative b would just be the same length but opposite direction. And that was basically what, this was bas basically vector multiplication, and that is what we're doing here. So check the sign, first step, check the sign, if it's positive or negative, if it's positive, it's in the same direction, if it's negative, it's in the opposite direction. And then the second step, find the magnitude or length using this stuff right here. And that's basically it. If you guys um, need more clarification, feel free to inbox me or leave it in the comments below. I'm sure there'll be people trying to help you out. Um, I mean, it's YouTube. I mean, there are tons of people out there who know this, um, who are willing to help out. So just don't be shy. Just leave comments below. And yeah, if you guys um, need help, just leave a comment. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode then, where we'll be moving on to the interesting topic of kinematics. See you guys then.